Right, then, folks, welcome back to another video beer review. Today, we've got another beer coming out of the uh, new range in um, Sainsbury's. It is Tiny Rebel, their bubbles, a mandarin, sorry, a mango and mandarin IPA. Seems like the other way around. Anyway, bubbles, call me bubbles, darling. That just instantly jumped into my mind as soon as I read this, and that's a terrible impression of. Looking back at it, it's a bit questionable, some of the scenes in Little Britain nowadays. But anyway, 6.2% ABV. Um, <sighs> we're on a mission to bring you good times with a hint of beer. We do this by creating brands that will capture your imagination and defy your senses. When we're not, make, uh, when we're not making awesome beer, we're busy brewing up plans to better our people, community and planet. I think it says that on almost all the Tiny Rebel beers cans and stuff um the last time i had a tiny rebel beer was the last time i reviewed a tiny rebel beer i tend to not really have them um brewed and canned at tiny rebel newport uh mp10 9fq ingredients are water multi barley multi wheat and oats mango juice pardon me um tiring it beer review uh, mango juice mandarin juice hops and yeast um yeah there we go it's been a long old day um, but yeah, there we go. Um, let's see how this one is. I'm expecting super synthetic and the huge, but you never know. You never know. Always hunting through all these beers, supermarket beers, and search of a lovely beer. I mean, we have found a few. I mean, that Polly's one is always sticks out in the memory. Has been a really decent um, supermarket beer. I think it was the. Um, not the Sainsbury's one they got currently. I didn't pick that up um, because I just couldn't be asked. Um, <laughs> but the one at M&S that they have. Um, yeah, I just saw Supermarket Pale, £3.50. It's not going to be my sort of thing that I'd want. So, um, yeah, I was just very harsh on it, possibly. Anyhow, bring glass. It is, as you'd expect, hazy, lemon yellow. Um, I don't know whether this is done with juice. Well, it says on the back. I did read it, didn't I? Mango juice and mandarin juice. Whether that's like puree. Um, obviously it's saying juice. So how much that's going to liquor the... Um, and how, how concentrated that juice has been as well. It smells just really fruity. I wouldn't be able to say like... I wouldn't be able to say mango and mouth, so I wouldn't be able to say mandarin. There's definitely mango there. Um, it's quite sweet on the nose. It, it doesn't smell like a beer, put it that way, on the nose at all. Um, it smells like... Um, you know, didn't they do that? Like a creamy... Like a, it's like, like a milkshake IPA sort of thing. It's got lactose in it. I read that. No. No, no lactose. But anyway, we'll dive in. It just smells really sweet, which is odd. And then mango. And I'm, I'm guessing that behind it is mandarin, but it smells almost limey. We'll dive in. Cheers. I'm not a fan of that. It's so undercarbed. Such low carbonation on it. It's more like drinking. It's something like apple juice sort of thing. You know, the that's the carb levels of this. It's got a, a slight kind of spritziness, but it's not... It's just shit. I, I'm going to be honest, it's just shit. Um, <laughs> bubbles. It's just got little spritzy bubbles. Um... That's not a, that's not a good beer at all. Um, I'll pour it into the can, and I'm going to be honest, I'm going to bin this. Um, absolute waste of money. It's got the flavour of mango, yes. You've got a little bit of the flavour of mandarin, not very much. It tastes extremely, extremely watered down. I'm not getting much of the beer behind it at all. 
if the, well, obviously there is a beer, I'm getting a little bit of a definitely wheatiness to it. It's just, just no balance at all with it. That is absolute crap. Don't bother. Do not bother with that one. Shit. See you next time. Cheers. Drink both.